In a case known as the Asylum Case, the International Court considered the legal status of a man named Victor Raul Haya de la Torre, who had received asylum in the Embassy of Colombia in Peru after his role in a failed coup attempt in Peru. The court found that Peru was not required to accept that Colombia had granted asylum, and as a result, the Peruvian government was not required to facilitate safe passage out of Peru for de la Torre. This did not, however, finalise the dispute. Peru's interpretation of the decision was that because it was not required to recognise Colombia's grant of asylum, it could demand that de la Torre be surrendered to the Peruvians. Colombia disagreed and continued to allow him to remain in the Colombian embassy. The only real way to resolve the standoff was to return to court to ask the court to clarify the position at law. However, this is international law, and the international courts often fail to actually assist the parties to resolve their disputes. So it was in this case. The court ended up having a bet each way by finding that the asylum must be terminated as soon as possible, but by also finding that this did not necessarily require de la Torre's surrender. The court said diplomatic asylum is a provisional measure for the temporary protection of political offenders. Even if regularly granted, it cannot be prolonged indefinitely, but must be terminated as soon as possible. However, the convention does not give a complete answer to the question of the manner in which an asylum shall be terminated. The court noted that there were ways to terminate the asylum other than surrendering the protected person. For instance, Peru could change its mind and allow his safe passage. The court said, The court has thus arrived at the conclusion that the asylum must cease, but that the government of Colombia is under no obligation to bring this about by surrendering the refugee to the Peruvian authorities. There is no contradiction between these two findings, since surrender is not the only way of terminating asylum. In the end, De La Torre remained in the Colombian embassy for more than five years before international pressure resulted in Peru agreeing to allow him to leave the country. He eventually returned and ultimately became president of Peru's Constituent Assembly. Mm-hmm.